Today, I'm gonna to show you how to build your first marketing funnel inside of Kajabi and really show you just how easy Kajabi makes it to build an intricate marketing funnel for us as the creator. If you wanna take advantage of a free 30-day trial of Kajabi to play with the platform yourself, you can use my link profityourknowledge.com slash Kajabi. This is an affiliate link, so I get a small percentage of your investment in Kajabi, but there's no extra cost to you compared to if you went through Kajabi's website yourself. All this does is simply support me and this channel for referring someone to Kajabi. But when you sign up with my link, I'm going to give you instant access to a course I created called Kajabi Kickstart, which is going to help you set up and launch your online business with Kajabi in that first 30 days. On top of that, when you're inside of Kajabi Kickstart, you will have access to a free 45 minute coaching session with me where you and I both get to deep dive into your Kajabi account and I will be there to answer any questions you have about Kajabi, marketing, or even making your first sale with the platform. All this is free and you can get instant access by going to profityourknowledge.com slash Kajabi or clicking the link down in the description. Without further ado, let's dive into Kajabi. To get started building out your first marketing funnel, we're gonna go over to the marketing tab and then down to funnels. From here, there's a couple funnels that I have built. We'll just go up here to create new funnel. Now this is where you have to think about what type of funnel you want to build. You can build whatever kind that, <laughs> Kajabi gives you a bunch of different types of funnels that you can build. And let's say you want to do a product launch. You can always click show me how. And then right up here, it's going to show you what's entailed with this funnel. We haven't built anything yet. If I click create funnel, it's going to build all this out for me. But right here, you're going to get an opt-in page built, 10 emails that get automatically sent as soon as people opt in, and then value one, value two, value three. So, these are basically your pre-launch kind of hype videos that are going to add a bunch of value to people. And then your emails are promoting the course and the value videos are just teaching people about the product, getting them super pumped about this product. And then it also gives you a checkout page and it puts it all in a very sequential order so you can do a successful product launch. And if you want to, you can always click here and have a little video where they walk you through kind of what you get inside of this. You can do that in any kind of one of these. A uh, coaching campaign, a free book, a Zoom webinar if you wanted to do, or a simple sales page. Click here, it's just your sales page straight to checkout, which is awesome. And the nice thing about this is that if you just created a landing page that was your sales page, you would have to create a form, which you can do. So you can build unlimited funnels basically inside of this. I think on the pricing page for Kajabi, it says you only get a certain amount of funnels. Uh, but that means just like these one click funnels, but you can continue to build unlimited forms, unlimited landing pages, unlimited checkout pages and link them however you want. So really, if you know how to play the game, you can have unlimited amount of funnels. Here, you can always start from a blank slate. That's totally fine too. Uh, the nice thing about building a funnel is, I'll show you in just a sec, is that it puts on this really cool grid where you can add different checkout pages and whatnot. So it makes building the funnel a lot, uh, a lot smoother instead of having to go through all the different tabs and whatnot. Down here, we have legacy funnels. We can click down here. And these are the old school kind of um, legacy funnels that Kajabi used to have. And since they've upgraded and changed things, they've, they've changed out the whole format, but these are just the old ones. So sales page, sales page to offer checkout. Okay, that's pretty much like the simple sales page as well. Okay, these are just, some people like to have those old school ones, so that's why they keep them. But like virtual summit, it's a little bit different, okay? What I want you to think about is your business where it is currently. If this is your first funnel, then you kind of have to think about where you're at in your business. Are you someone who's really just getting out, getting started and you have zero audience? Or are you someone who's built an audience and now you're on Kajabi and you're thinking, I wanna sell my first digital product and I wanna use Kajabi to do it. If you're the later person, the then you're gonna wanna go over to the sales page funnel. Uh, click right here, you'll get an opt-in page, eight emails that automatically get created into an email sequence. So as soon as people opt in, you get these eight emails and then that 
those emails basically are going to lead people to a sales page and then do a checkout page. So this is a beautiful little funnel setup. It's very simple. Uh, it's really copy heavy because you have to write copy for your eight emails and your sales page to get people over to the checkout page. Ultimately, that's the end goal of the funnel. This is where you're that person who's built up an audience. You're ready to sell a product or something online. Then I would highly recommend the sales page. But if you're just starting out, I would recommend the freebie. So this is where you're going to create some sort of freebie funnel, just something in exchange for someone's email address. That's the point of the freebie. And it'll ask you as you go through this to download or to upload your freebie, which can just be like a simple PDF. And you're basically just finding the common problem that your audience is facing. It's called a lead magnet. And creating a simple solution that solves that problem really fast because audience building should be what you focus on first and foremost before you start building products. And if I could restart my entrepreneurial journey, that's what I would have done. Okay. So I would recommend to start with this one. And then from here, you can build off of this funnel too and transform it into being this, um, this sales page that we have over here. But I'm going to use this as the example name of the funnel. We'll just say, first funnel, and then you're gonna have to click an offer, okay? If you don't have any offers, you can always just build one. I have a couple of like example offers here. I'll say uh, the Epic Mini Course, okay? Create funnel. Awesome, now first funnel is built, and this is it. Super simple, this is what I was talking about with like that grid. Now what's cool is that we can add pages, we can kind of move things around as we please. You can edit the details, edit code if you wanted to, uh, or you can reorder it right here, and that's where you can kind of drag things around. Obviously, it's already set up in a really nice, smooth, sequential funnel, so we're gonna leave it. Okay, but from here, you can click this, Start from the top, work your way down or wherever you want, and then you can describe the value. It gives you the little uh, little kind of uh, little bumpers, I guess, to put in your message. The hardest part about this is just understanding your audience, listening to them, which is why audience building is such a key component, especially when you're just getting started. It never really ends. So describe the value over here. Let users know exactly what they're opting in for and uh, how the value will affect them. And then your opt-in message gives you an example. You won't want to miss out on this exclusive offer. That sounds a little too spammy for me, but you can change all this stuff. You can just click edit, come down here and you can opt, you can change out the whole message, click full screen. If you want, get a better look and feel, change the format. You want headings, you know, blocks, you want uh, bold, italicize, whatever you want to do. You can change up all this stuff. You can change the color of this button, what the the text actually says. So if it was a download, you could say download now or something like download my guide. And then you can change the button color. Let's say that orange was your color, boom. And then you can change this too if you want it to be black, for example. Okay, very customizable. You can even change the little text down here where it says we won't send spam, unsubscribe at any time. Uh, something helpful here is like, to let people know that, hey, by opting in, you'll be on my email list and I'll send you exclusive free content and offers from time to time, okay? That's called being GDPR compliant and just letting people know what they're opting in for. And if you ever wanna change the form, you can always click here and pick a different form that you want. You can change the size of this message, uh, whatever you wanna do, even where the thank you page is gonna take someone to. So you can take them to a URL. You can download a file as soon as they click opt in, they automatically download the file when they hit download my guide in this example, or go to a checkout page. But by default, when you build out a funnel, it's gonna say go to the next pipeline step. So we'll click on that, and then we're gonna uh, hit save. One other thing that you can do is down here in details, it'll take you over to this page. And what's helpful to do here is that this is gonna have normally your website. So for me, it would be profityourknowledge.com slash whatever it is. So like one of my lead magnets is my five-step guide to earn your first $500 per month of passive income. Uh, I have profityourknowledge.com slash guide. Okay, so whatever this opt-in that you have created is, it's good to add that here and then you can change up the title. This title, it says opt-in, it's gonna say that at the top of um, like the tab if, if I went to this link. So if it was a guide that you had, it would be your website slash guide. You can copy, send people that and then this is gonna be up in the tab so everybody's gonna see opt-in. So I would change that <laughs> just to something like um, download your free guide or something like that, okay? 
change it up. Down here, you can change up the SEO settings, et cetera. And then down here, we have the email sequence. We can click on this. You can change up this entire email sequence. You can delete these emails. Uh, what is cool is that this gets sent immediately right when somebody opts in. And if you click on the email, Kajabi has already pre-written a handful of emails. And each one of these is already pre-written for you. But you can totally change all of this stuff. So do me a favor, like this is just copy and they put in brackets like things that they'd recommend that you change, um, which is helpful, okay? I like to write emails from scratch. They even give you subject line recommendation or example. And theoretically, you could use this, but I always recommend, yes, start from scratch, okay? And you can personalize and change up all this, your subject line, et cetera. You can even change the day up here. If you want to get sent out a couple days later, you can do that. This first email though, we wanted to get sent out immediately when somebody opts in. And you can do that with each one of these emails. Again, they're all going to have some sort of text inside and it's all gonna be a little bit different, but like here, insert one to three testimonials. Okay, they're giving you some food for thought as you're building this out. And if you want to, you can always add a new email. You can go into this funnel, change out the settings, look at a report on how this email sequence is doing and see how many active subscribers are inside of this email sequence. And then you can also add triggers and tags and whatnot. Go back to the funnel overview and down here, then we can start changing out the sales page. So down here is a very simple, straightforward sales page. It has the benefits, call to action. They give you recommendations, describe your offer and the value it will bring to your customer's experience. And you can change up all this stuff. You can move these down, keep the benefits up top if you wanted. Uh, I would say, honestly, just stick with the format that they have where they have the button down here to pick up or to go to the checkout page. You can customize this button just like we did before. Change out the benefits. You can change out this image with whatever you want. You could get something off of Canva for free in their stock photos or whatever other tool you wanna use for stock footage and photos. And then down here, you'll be able to change out the benefits, describe the number one benefit of your offer or service. And then of course we have the testimonial. I think you get the picture. Down here, you can add a new section too. So there's a ton of different options for you down here if you wanna have an event countdown, uh, if this is for some certain kind of event coming up, or if it's a special sale and you wanna add a countdown timer on here, the event countdown is how you're able to do that, but you would have to create an event. You can add an offer storefront. Obviously the point of the sales page is to get the person to click the button and buy whatever the product is. So I wouldn't offer a storefront here, uh, but you can add pricing cards if you wanted to, if you wanted to have a couple of different tiers or options or levels of this, you can totally add all that stuff. FAQ, really great to add as well, okay? And then you can just click add and customize it however you want. And then lastly, we have the offer checkout. So by creating your funnel, automatically your form has been created, your landing pages have been created, your email sequence has been created and added into a perfect sequential order for you, completely automatic. The checkout page has already been set up and you can still customize the checkout page as you please. And if you haven't even built a checkout page or touched any of that for this product, you've only built the product, then you're automatically going to have the checkout page now built in your offer and everything. And if you ever wanted to add another page or step to your pipeline, make it more extensive, you can always hit add page, choose a new landing page or an existing landing page, and then add whatever page you want to add into your funnel. So that's how you build a marketing funnel inside of Kajabi, essentially with just one click. And then from there, it's just about kind of fine tuning the emails, the copy, and that's really all it is. So once you understand your audience, you've created a great product, then you just kind of fill in the blanks with what Kajabi gives you, but they make it really simple. You can change up the design, et cetera, et cetera. And whenever you're ready to launch this funnel and share it and get it out into the world, you just come up here to copy link, open up a new tab, hit paste, and then it's gonna send it here for you being a new user. You can put in your information, download your guide, and you're off to the races. If you're thinking about trying out Kajabi yourself, then I'd highly recommend to check out my link down in the description, profityourknowledge.com slash Kajabi. You're gonna get a 30-day free trial plus a course that walks you through how to set up and launch your entire business in Kajabi within that 30 days. And you'll also get a one-to-one -one coaching call with me where I'll personally help you with 
any questions you have about Kajabi marketing, sales, growing your business, reaching your goals, whatever it is. It's my way of saying thank you and using my link. There's no extra cost to you. I just get a small percentage for referring someone over to Kajabi. If you have any other questions about funnels and building them and setting your funnel up inside of Kajabi or features that you could potentially have inside of Kajabi that maybe I didn't cover here, please share your thoughts down in a comment below. I hope this is helpful and insightful for you and I will see you in the next one.